Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. This is Red Ray's Writer, your host. So, like I said, we're going to pick right back up where we left off, and we're still looking for that dude's food because he is starving. Give us the food. I said, give us the food. Where's the food? Where's the girl? <laughs> Whole Batman into, uh, idea. Listen, you. Nice try for a surprise. I'm, I'm not going to deny that. I was, I was totally falling for that had I been like 30 seconds further ahead. Ding! And a right up a guy! Another one. Lots of walls for it today. Up the round tower. Julius' quarters. So he's dead. I hate fighting these guys. I'm like a burning passion. They're so annoying. I really hate fighting those guys. They're, they're extremely annoying to fight. Dang it, it's another memory. I was hoping to fight the Ford. <laughs> Monsieur le Comte! Monsieur le Comte, are you there? The prisoners, they're suffering! As promised, I have interceded on your behalf. The king has named you Gouverneur de la Bastille. Dude, that would have killed him. Do you realize what an honor this is? Put an end to this sinister farce, Monsieur le Comte. Order your machines to unhand me at once. Ah! Listen to my voice, mon ami. Nothing but my voice. This dude is one messed up individual. Like, holy cow. Just walks around hypnotizing people. I can't do that. It's illegal. Lots of little spider dudes. Lots of snake dudes. You know, I wonder if the king isn't actually as crazy as he thought he is, and he's just trapped in one of those machines, and what's his face is taking over control. It would totally make sense though, wouldn't it? Or if the gov- or if what's his face had- Hypnotized him, hypnotized the king himself, and was just like, oh, yeah, the king said that you're now the governor, and the king's over here, like, just drooling out the side of his mouth, watching a fire pit. <laughs> I find that funny, like, we just somehow happened to find the king, just kind of staring blankly into a fire, drooling like a blubbering idiot. Like, uh, what did I? It'll be like that scene from Lord of the Rings, where what's his face is uh, controlled by the dark wizard Sarazon. Or Sarazon. No, it's not Sarazon. Saruman, it was um, improved explosive grenades. You mean I just picked up a cannonball? Son of a... No! Oh. 
fudge nuggets. Son of a bitch. <sighs> All right, it was this way. Or that way. I think it was this way. Yeah, pass these guys through the cell. Up the ladder, up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. Just keep going. Okay, cool. And then after this, it was straight. Er, is that a chest? It is a chest. How did I miss that? I was fighting the weird. I was fighting the claw, dude. That's right. The gilded key opens this, which gives us the Boris wheel, which is just another heavy wheel, but it's ice infused. Very nice. How much damage do these do? Not enough. They got B and power affinity though. But these have S in alchemy. 63, 63, 68. Huh. Okay. Actually, oh, you know what? There we go. So now we have a counterattack and we have a freeze. Um, no, we just came out of the cells. We're going this way. From the gilded key, and then moving forward from here, it was... That's where we got the memory. Yes, that's where we got the memory. And then it was up the staircase again. Through here. Don't screw around with him. I'm not gonna mess with these two again, because fuck that. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, I'm not. I'm no. Well, where the hell am I supposed to go from here? Counter attack is not worth it. Yeah, counter attack is not worth it. Mostly because I haven't done enough with it to actually practice it. I've all my character is built around dodge and weave. <laughs> Seriously, I swear to Jesus himself. Every time. Okay, if I drop down there, is there a boss fight? That looks and smells like a boss fight. This, on the other hand, is an item, and I want to find out what it is. Ah! Oh, hell no. Thank you. Only I didn't die so very often. I would probably have more viewers and subscribers, right? Chase me if you can, but you can't catch me because I'm the robotic gingerbread man. Actually gonna put this right here because we just want to run and 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 run 
freaking door. He shot me through the fucking door. Oh my god. I hate that. Oh, fuck. That was close. This is the jailer the king has chosen to guard Monsieur de Valconson and protect the secret of his automats. This shows how important this particular prisoner is to him. Okay, so this was the way to go. Alright, cool. So from what I can gather, the guy down below is actually an ice type from all the frost that was engaging off of him. And if you didn't see him, rewind the video and look at the bottom right hand corner of the screen when I look down. You'll see him when I do. I want it. I don't know what it is, but it's shiny. Therefore, I want it. Wait, where are any of those doors open? No. None of the doors were open. This one's unlockable, though. I don't know where this leads. I hate these guys. Oh my god. Sentences delivered by court order are nothing more than cowardly murders. Barbaric crimes committed legally in the name of the entire nation. These cruel laws are the doing of the tyrants who rule us. They are the chains they have always used to oppress the human race. And that, mes amis, is why the death penalty must be abolished. I mean, I get it. Well said. You're drunk, shut up. No, no one wants your opinion. You're standing there drinking like it's fucking late afternoon on a hard day's work. <laughs> shut up. Shortcut, back from the boss, awesome, okay, so this, that guy right there, that's the boss, see him, right there, this will be a hell of a fight, do I have fire grenades, no, oh, I freaking do, yes, oh thank god, alright, so we're gonna buff, and buff, and we're also gonna throw that buff on and then just for good measures we're gonna buff that as well let's go <laughs> if it's a buff we have to what i want that weapon this will be a fun fight Maybe. God, I want that weapon. Maybe. Oh, okay. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he got me on the first shot. And all of my buffs are gone? That's so gay.
Oh, he's a guillotine. Oh, that's messed up. So he's he's attacking us with an ice shard for a guillotine. Lame. Round two. Faithful servant. Monsieur, listen to me. But I can no longer do what you ask of me. Listen to me, Bosson. Kill, kill, and kill again. What do you mean? Of what crimes do you accuse yourself? The heads must roll. They must roll straight into the pit. Cela Sophie. Who are you, Monsieur? Uh, who am I? Oh, I am. Charles-Henri Sanson, executor of court rulings. The executioner of Paris. The executioner? Oh no, not anymore. That death factory. We had to lead the horde of the tortured victims there and hand them over to killers who are far more efficient and skilled than us. When I tried to give up my position, and the Count offered me a new role, greffier at the Bastille. An easy job, and I fell into their trap. Oh. But now that I think about it, they must be the ones who sent you. They want my head. You're rambling. I am Aegis, their worst enemy. Come to rescue Monsieur de Vaucanson. Oh, His Majesty's honored guest. The man for whom our good king reserves his most ruthless treatment. No one deserves to be punished like that. Here, take this key. Monsieur de Vaucanson's cell is downstairs. And do not delay. He is dying, madame. He's dying. Where the hell is he? Well, there should be a chest in here somewhere. Or, or, or not. Didn't know we could do that. That's cool. All right, let's 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 get this over with. Where the hell is he? I don't care about that. I can see the talking. Rats. Fucking rats. I hate rats. Monsieur. Is that what? Oh, that what? That's a knife? I'm an awful. They did it. They did it. They've turned my sweet daughter into a cold machine. It's all right. Stay calm. Well, Ludia, what has Cagliostro told you? Has he sent you to put me out of my misery? No. I'm going to get you out of here. Let me help you. There's no point. I'm burning with fever and... I'm already short of breath. Death lurks around every corner in this prison. I, I couldn't escape it. I, I'm not long for this world. No, you can't. Outside, your automats are slaughtering men, women, and children. What you have done, monsieur, only you can undo. What I have done, the miracles I perform, 
The wonders I gave to this kingdom, it was nothing but vanity. I closed my eyes to it for so long. Mesmer, Cagliostro, souls snatched from their eternal rest like water from a well. I should have set fire to the workshop. I should have melted my creation so <laughs> It's not too late to stop the massacre. I don't have the strength. You must... <coughs> Speak, monsieur. Say something, Arthur. You must stop them. The king and his loathsome henchman, Cagliostro, the master of the machines. He gives them their orders. He must be silenced. At all costs. <coughs> Take my hand. No, no, my poor enfant. I am not your father. No more than you are, Atenais. You're but the vessel that contains what is left of her broken soul. <laughs> Lydia, I don't want to die without hope. In the name of what is left of her in you, in the name of her love for you, I beg you to free her from the purgatory our enemies have confined her to. I will grant your wish, monsieur. Do you realize what that means? Are you ready to make that sacrifice? The ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> I shall never see her darling face again. My too petite. You must set her free. Bring her back into the light. The light. <sighs> Monsieur. Monsieur. Okay, so from everything that I gathered from that, Aegis is actually his daughter that was kidnapped by the fat red dude, the dude in the red coat, stuffed into a box, and now she is her. Daughter, will you never listen? This machine belongs to the king now, will it have it? There's nothing I can do about it. Did he also order you to torture her? The king wants me to make some improvements. Can you obey him just like that? That's enough, Atenais. Let me work. And from now on, I forbid you from coming in here without my permission. Use this boat to reach the Seine. As soon as I am on dry land, I shall return to the Cordelier convent. I am sure they are waiting for me with bated breath.
Citoyen, I come bearing sad tidings. Monsieur de Vaucanson has passed away. I was present for his last breath in his cell at the Bastille. Justicieux. Requiescat in pace. Mon Dieu, it is a cruel fate that has taken my dearest friend from me today. Eugène. Ce pauvre Eugène. I cannot suffer such a horrible injustice. Was he at least able to tell you something before he passed away? No. Nothing. How unfortunate. We are lost. Must we resign ourselves to this disastrous turn of events? No, General. Every part of me refuses to do so. Eugène de Vaucanson made me make a promise that I swore to keep. Now I have no other choice than to risk everything. What are you thinking, Aegis? I'm thinking of making my way to Versailles. Eh bien, you should know that I also plan to go there. You... don't even think about it. Ma foi. What have we got to lose? Our lives? At this point, you must admit that they're not worth much. I agree with the Marquis' resolution. We must take into account everything that Aegis <laughs> has done to foil the King's plans. The time has come for us to put ourselves at her service. Not so fast, mon ami. Let's not rush into anything. You'd have to be mad to want to be part of the battle to come. Those who agree to take part in this strike will need to keep a low profile until Aegis has cleared the way. As for you, madame, I do not know what new arrangements have been made since my last visit to the Queen, but I found the area around the North Wing to be particularly empty. Here is where you should launch the attack. If fortune is in my favor, I shall be waiting for you at the Petit Trianon with something to help you make your way through the gardens. As for us, once the Automats have been defeated, we will enter the palace to seize the king and the count. Is that your plan, Monsieur le Marquis? It is, Monsieur. We are about to take the small step that separates audacity from madness. Are you ready to take What's wrong with madness? Citoyen, I cannot escape my obligations. It is in my very nature to honor them. I kept the promise I made to the Queen to find Monsieur de Vaucanson. I am now bound by the oath I swore before my creator. If I go to Versailles, it is in the hope of rescuing Atanias. I think also of all that remains to be done in Paris. And what's more, you demand my help to make you masters of the king. It is a heavy burden that we place on your shoulders. But once again, we must leave it up to you. Take your time, Aegis. A hasty decision could lead to disaster. We will be ready for action when the time comes. Pour la nation et pour le royaume. Fuck them? Is that an option? Checkmate. The fuck is over here still? Oh, gunpowder. Okay, I guess I'll figure out how to get to the royal bullshit, I guess. Please tell me my carriage is here. If the horse's carriage is here, we have an app we have an opportunity. Thank God. If not, I was gonna be like, how in the hell am I supposed to travel that damn far? Fucking psychopaths. Wow, five is the max. I'm guessing we get one more and boom, we're good. <laughs> uh, Madame, I am closing this room. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I feel so weird. Uh, oh. God bless it. We gotta go save the fucking queen again. Castle is under fucking attack. We don't know how, we don't know why, but we now need to go back to St. Cloud and try and save the queen because of stupid bullshit. And we're at 30 minutes, so as soon as this loads, we are gonna call it, at the end of this episode, 
and we will start one more episode right after this, and then I think I will probably go to bed. Nah, who am I kidding? I'll do one more episode after that. All right, guys. So, this is the end of the episode. Remember to leave a comment or a like. Hell, I'm just happy if you watched it. I don't really care, though. So, Red Razor Rider signing off.